Hi, I'm Becca, and this is my husband, Gabe. That's me. Welcome to the podcast celebrating Jack Russell Terrier dogs. And all the joys of companionship with canines of every kind. Each week, we'll explore all the heartfelt, humbling, and hilarious stories that only dog parents can truly relate to. We're Jack Russell Parents. Hey, Becca. What do a dog and a cell phone have in common? Uh, what? They both have caller ID. Oh. <laughs> here's one, here's one. What do you call a dog jumping into a pool? What? A canine ball! Uh, You're welcome. Uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Speaking of jumping... Some jumping in dogs is fun, like when they jump into a pool. But not all jumping is welcome, specifically jumping up on new people. Yes, we don't entertain at all anymore. We haven't entertained in almost seven years because Carson cannot handle new people. Mm -mm. He gets so stinking excited and he jumps up on everyone and everything and makes a right disaster of any party whatsoever. (laughs) I know, I know. A friend of ours recently made a comment about our alleged house, right? (laughs) She's like, you say you have a home, but I've never seen it. (laughs) I was like, dang, (laughs) we really need to figure out how to remedy that. It's not like we don't like our friends. It's just. No, we we want them to come over. And I love our home and I want to share it. However, you know, (laughs) we got Carson and he jumps on everybody. So today we are sharing with you some tips that we discovered about how to train your pup to stop jumping. And I'm sure we're not alone when it comes to this issue. Exactly. Topdogtips.com shares some great insight in their article, 25 Most Common Dog Problems. See, this is a common problem. I'm sure it was near the top of the list. Uh Uh-huh. Therefore, if you're like us and you want to have friends... (laughs) (laughs) Uh, At least a couple of friends besides your pups. Listen up. The article starts with explaining the why, because Becca is one of those people who always wants, no, needs to know the why. Her and and toddlers. (laughs) Why? So why do dogs jump on people? Topdogtips.com explains it this way. When dogs meet other dogs, they greet one another by sniffing each other's behinds and faces. Dogs would like to do the same thing with humans, but human faces are inconveniently located all the way at the top of our bodies. It's really high up there. Yeah. So jumping up on people for dogs is often an attempt to behave according to normal dog etiquette. And I don't know about you, but that helps make sense of a lot of things, Yeah, right? yeah. That sounds logical. And even when I come home from work, Carson is so super excited to see me that I have to bend down to give him a good pet. He chases me around and howls if I don't. Can you do his howl? (laughs) It's. And if he has a toy in his mouth, it's like. (laughs) 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 Ah, Little insights into our house. So how do we resolve this dog behavior problem? Top Dog and many others say to ignore your pooch when you come home until they stop trying to jump up at you. Do not shout. Don't call for your dog to stop. Don't push them away either. All of those behaviors will likely excite the dog and encourage even more jumping because it looks like play to them. They also add to only start petting and praising your dog after their feet land back on the ground so that they learn that jumping up was the reason you were ignoring them. Right. And this is so difficult to do. I'm just as excited to see Carson (laughs) when I get home as he is to see me. And I can't wait to praise him and say, oh, you're such a good boy. What you been doing? You didn't burn the house down while we were gone. (laughs) I just start talking to him right away. So I've heard this tip before, but I'm, I've not been successful at employing it either, clearly, since we're having this conversation. Mm-hmm. And I hope that some of you have a stronger willpower and discipline to apply this method. But if you're like us, don't worry. We have a few other tricks for us and you to try right after we do Insta Dog of the Week. Awesome. Who do we have this week? This week, we have Everest the Rescue Pup. Yay! And I love Everest's 
is, it's hard to say. <laughs> I love Everest's handle. <laughs> I love the handle that they have for Everest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with that one. That one's yeah. good. I love the handle that they have for Everest. You can find her at perfect underscore little underscore pup. I love it because there is nothing little about Everest, hence her name. She is like a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> like a chihuahua <laughs> named the Hulk or something. <laughs> so let's take a look at her bio. She, like we mentioned before, she is a rescue pup. She is a public figure. And she has been making you smile since November 27th, 2020. So she's still a young, youngin. Yeah, a big, big youngin. Almost about to have her first birthday. She is family friendly. She hearts her new family and her big sister, Miss Montana. And she was adopted from Rico Pet Recovery. So if you're in the central Ohio area or willing to go there to support at Rico Pet Recovery, they do awesome work giving pets forever homes. Across the top, they have their stories, of course, and the the little icons actually spell out her name, which is cute. It says Everest across the top. And then some of the reels and videos that are in there are her with some of her fur friends. Um, there's one with her in the bathtub. <laughs> I don't know. She's licking the side of the tub. <laughs> Let's see what else is in the reel. Um, Some time in the snow, which is very cute. A little video of her when she's just a pup in the snow. And then we get down to all the great pictures and videos and everything. And this girl has really the cutest face. These ears and her jowls. and Put a really smooth coat around Mm -hmm. and just a big dog. Yeah. And I think one of my favorite pictures is down a little bit where they're spraying the hose and she's just attacking the the spray. (laughs) She's having a really good time. And then there's another cute setup where, you know, it's nine different pictures, but it makes out her face. It was like she was a little puppy in that picture. Mm-hmm. I love the ones where she's taking a nap. <laughs> right. There's one where she's using a ball and there's one where she's outside and laying in the grass, but she's using the cement as a pillow, which is great. And it says <laughs> hashtag napping is life. She's living her best nap life. Oh yes. They play hard and they sleep hard, those big dogs. And she's got those puppy dog eyes on lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> it's yep. three time black belt and puppy eyes. Yep. Just what do you want, girl? We'll give it to you. And then also there's one other picture of her from the top down of her reading a children's book. <laughs> and it says, Ted saw a dog right, in this little book. And the caption says, Ma, I don't want to read. Oh, a treat? We'll read for treats. Okay. <laughs> so she wasn't too into this <laughs> setup, but she did it for a treat. You have to check out Everest and her adorable little puppy eyes and add her to your Insta scroll at perfect underscore little underscore pup. Aloha Mama Apparel wants to spread the spirit of aloha. Genesis Beloth, the creator of Aloha Mama Apparel, was born on the mainland and resides in Southern California. But she cherishes her Hawaiian culture and honors the half of her family that lives on the island. She loves being a mama and a designer. At Aloha Mama, they know being a mama is hard work. It's the best work. That's why they style mamas and kiddos in apparel that is bright and filled with beachy vibes. For the cutest casual attire celebrating the spirit of Aloha, go to shopalohamama.com. That's shop, A-L-O-H-A-M-A-M-A.com. Shopalohamama.com. It's 
one thing for a tiny dog to jump on you, but can you imagine Everest jumping up to say hello? <laughs> she probably could put her paws on my shoulders, right? <laughs> <laughs> it would be like a fuzzy NFL tackle. <laughs> <laughs> With that in mind, we have a few more alternative ways to train your dog not to jump on people. VCA Hospital dot com article dog behavior problems greeting behavior jumping up has been helpful they say to teach your dog how to greet properly right so not just don't just tell them no necessarily but teach them what to do in place of that behavior so teach them to sit and stay or settle and then have them demonstrate that behavior in various places in the house including by the front door If that is the only behavior they are allowed to demonstrate in front of the door, they will build that habit. And you can also place a treat jar with a bell on it to encourage that positive behavior. Then once they have mastered the behavior with no one at the door, then it's time to introduce a family member's entrance. You will give the command to sit and stay as the person enters. Alternatively, you can put your dog on a head halter and bring the dog into the room once the person has entered. I think I'd like to try that with Carson because of his pulling uh, on a leash regularly with walks and him having just had surgery on his leg. I got a head halter for him and that's been really successful on our walks. Life changing, frankly, because it's far more enjoyable for me now that he's not pulling and better for his leg. And I think that same concept would work with someone coming into the house. A little more control, keeping him where you want him. I I'd like to try it. That sounds like it would work. Yeah. So what are your tricks for keeping your JRT or any dog from jumping up on people? Let's find out in our puppy parent replies. Marion R. says a stern no. They do get it eventually because they're smart. I agree. I mean, they are smart. It Enough just, repetition might just be the trick. Yeah. Well, it depends on the level of alphaness, I think, in the dog. Yeah. Because our previous Jack, he would obey that command. This one, though? Mm-mm. And Tracy G says, a treat for four paws on the floor. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> she said, they'll pick that up real quick. And so as much as I agree with both of these, I think if you have a <laughs> relatively docile dog, They'll learn just by the repetition of saying no or they're that incentive of having a treat. But if you remember from our episode with Susan Light, the dog trainer from Doggy Dojo, she was talking about when dogs are past their threshold, right? Mm. If they're past their threshold, they are not going to just listen to you telling them no. And I think that's what happens with Carson is he gets so excited to see somebody new, especially in his territory <laughs> yeah. that he it's almost like he can't hear you yeah and and he just would he won't even eat a treat if he's past his threshold yeah. so we got to find something different for him trissa l says i ignore mine when she's jumping and tell others to do the same no reaction seems to be working and she's learning when you jump up on people they will not pet you or give you attention now if only she'd stop bringing every rock stick and weed in through the doggy door we'd be all set <laughs> Mm. Uh, I love it. Vicky R says, I need to do the same thing, meaning she needs to apply the ignoring method. Yeah. Uh, she says, I was remiss in not teaching him that lesson. I must make time to t- retrain us both. I think that's key. And she left a great article by Rover.com, How to Train a Dog Not to Jump on You or Others. Mitzi D says, hand command. If they see you flatten your hand and hold it out, they don't jump up on you. I I wonder what it is about a flat hand that gets them to stop. Do they recognize that as a universal (laughs) symbol for stopping, just a flat hand out? No, stop. (laughs) Okay. I don't know. But Paulette Y says the same thing. She says, I put my flat hand out and tell them no jump. They have gotten much better. I should try that. Mm -hmm. Heather R says... Yes, I've just given up and let them do what they like. (laughs) (laughs) Aww. (laughs) Well, sometimes we just have to let it go for a little while and then try again later. You know? (laughs) It's okay. (laughs) Have a nap and some Gatorade and try again. (laughs) Yes. So hopefully these few tips and tricks will help you with your dog's jumping and even allow you to have friends over to your alleged home. Did you enjoy this episode? 
Did you learn from the content? Or did you just have a good, relatable laugh? Well, now what? It's time to subscribe, follow, keep listening, and give a positive review on the Apple Podcast app. Then share the podcast with other puppy parents. This will allow us to connect you and your friends with fun, dog-loving content week after week. Until next time, this is Becca and Gabe, the Jack Russell parents. Say bye, Carson. We'd love to connect with you online at jackrusselparents.com or on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at JRT Podcasts. That's at JRT for Jack Russell Terrier Podcast. The Jack Russell Parents Podcast is produced by Earball Audio. Jack Russell Parents is brought to you in part by Super Chewer. From the makers of BarkBox, Super Chewer is a themed monthly delivery of toys and treats made especially for dogs who play harder and demand a challenge. Simply go to jackrusselparents.com and click the Super Chewer link to enjoy their great offers while also supporting our podcast. Mm-hmm.